Hi, you are watching Kolsky RC. Welcome back. Today, I want to do a final kind of video on the DJI FPV combo. So, I've done a few videos so far saying was it worth it. I've done my initial reaction when I bought it and showed you various things, how it worked and stuff, and went through quite in depth. Today, I want to tell you and share with you my opinion of it. Rather than you just look at it, I've got some video footage that you're watching now and this has been filmed in sport mode and normal mode, just cruising with it to show you what the video footage looks like. I've recorded in 4K 60fps, 120 megabits per second, and the other footage is from the goggles, so what I see when I'm flying. So basically what I want to do is give you my opinion of it, what I think is good and what I think is bad. So starting with the battery. So the battery on this thing sucks. 20 minutes is never going to happen in a million years. The video you were watching now is around 7 minutes and 20 seconds, I believe it is. It's something like that anyway. I landed at 22%, so a return to home would have kicked in. That's appalling. I was only in normal and sport mode. That is not flying in FPV or trying to do acro with it or anything like that. You're not going to get 20 minutes out of it. And to be fair, everybody exaggerates these claims saying they're going to get longer flight time than they actually do. But to give you that flight time is absolutely appalling, really. So, you know, if you buy this, you're going to have to buy another battery or two batteries. They've conned you on this because it's far more economical to buy two batteries and the charger that comes with it for 249 rather than one for 139. So they've got you there. So you're going to have to buy that if you want to buy this. Should you buy this drone if you're an FPV pilot who flies acro and is into freestyle and race in drones? Absolutely not because that's not what this thing is. You'll be disappointed with it because it's far too far, far too much weight on it. It's far too fragile is, and everybody's saying the same thing. It's made of plastic. Uh, it's going to break and if it breaks it's going to be expensive to repair. And you, at the minute, you can't get the parts. So you can't buy arms and motors, etc. for this carbon-infused plastic or not. It will snap. There's loads of videos about of this thing crashing. In my opinion, this is great for flying the way I've just flown it in this video. Should you buy this if you own a Mavic and you want to step up to something different? Now, probably, yeah, this is what I'd say this is for because... It flies a bit like a Mavic, except far more fun if you fly it in the mode that I've just flown it in that I'm showing you a video on. I will have a video, by the way, coming up with me flying it in um, Acro, so you can see it flying in FPV mode. Um, the weather's crap, so you've seen on the video how bad the weather is. I'm not <laughs> intending to fly it in something other than a really nice day, and I don't intend to fly it anymore. Probably that one flight in it, or a couple of flights, that's not what I bought it for. I bought it to get the footage you're seeing now. I think this is a drone for someone, this is a great drone for someone that wants one drone and one size fits all. They want to do a bit of FPV but not seriously do acro, they want to maybe just cruise around. Because this is a cruiser, this to me is a 5 inch cruiser and I did a video recently showing uh, price wise and to get a 5 inch cruiser with digital FPV with DJI, you're going to be spending this kind of money anyway and that's what it is. The, bad thing about this is the flight time I can get longer out of a seven inch I have a seven inch eye flight I did a video on it a few months ago if you want to look back in my videos of an eye flight chimera seven inch with 22 milli hour bad 2200 milliamp hour success gives me 10 minutes and that's flying in FPV mode uh, in acro and I get 10 minutes out of that and that's a seven inch so their battery and it's probably because of the low C rating the the rating on this battery will be a low C rating you need a high C rating if you want to fly acro and I don't think this has got a high C I'm not sure what the C rating is but I'm guessing that's the problem so the C rating is low as soon as you're blasting that battery you're absolutely kicking the crap out of the cells and you're knocking it down and that's why uh it'll go down and that's why when you put when you fly it hard you'll notice the battery life go down and then it'll recover a little bit if you start to go slowly and that's the thermal sign that you've punched out and there's a lot of battery sag so that's who it's for to me so do i like it yes absolutely i like it 
Do I love it? No. Do I think it's got problems? Yeah, I think there's loads of things they could have done differently apart from just the battery life. They could have made the thing fly different. They could have made it more aerodynamic. And I do not know why they didn't just make a carbon fiber one. I think they'd have been better going in with iFlight or Emacs or someone and doing it that way. And maybe making the drone cheaper, but having their stamp on a drone. And that's to me what they could have done instead of doing this shell uh, they've made which looks really good I suppose I like the look of it people, some people do uh, but they could have done that and the last thing you want to talk about props are awful these plastic props they sound nice when it's whizzing past your head but plastic props have long since gone out why they're not polycarbonate I do not know um, and why the 15 quid a set is quite beyond me when a set of polycarbonate decent really nice props are three quid i don't know why you'd pay that why they're charging that for them that's about it really it's a difficult one for me to sum up i just like it but other people and i can totally understand people that hate it and i can understand people that like it i, I get both camps here I, i'm not in one of these sometimes i watch a video and i think people are uh, having a go at it different quads for different reasons and i think that's a bit harsh on this one i totally understand if you hate it i totally understand if you love it it really is a marmite quad i just like it for what it is i think it's expensive on battery power will i buy it in another battery fit i probably won't i'll probably just this is something different for me i might eventually get rid of a mavic air 2 and my mavics and stuff like that that i've got because maybe this is now just what i want and then I might buy batteries for it. But at the minute, I'm just happy with a one battery. I'll fly one pack on this and then I'll go back to flying my other quads with the other headset. So I'm in that fortunate position to do that. But if you're in a position where this is your only drone, you are going to be forced to go buy some batteries, which is the biggest letdown for me is the battery life. Really is a big letdown. With technology being as the way it is today, they could have certainly got this better. If they hadn't have made it 800 grams, well, 850-ish, they'd have certainly got better flight time out of it. Different use different use of different motors. That's why I think they'd have been better going with someone that understood FPV quads better and understood Acro and what you need for that and the power you need for motors and what you need from your battery. Uh, I understand they wanted to do proprietary batteries. They were always going to do that to make more money. Fine stick with proprietary batteries but put them in a shell that maybe clips onto a normal carbon fiber frame but don't make them 139 quid you don't need to do that so thanks ever so much for watching hope you enjoyed the video footage i think the video looks great out of it it's very gray day i'm in the northwest of england where it's always crap so i haven't got none of the nice footage you've seen on youtube with people flying it over snow top mountains or really nice sunny beaches Unfortunately, we have none of that here. So, thanks ever so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Take care.